Hello everybody and welcome to the World Cup round of 16 match between Guinness and Falladius. Starts with a riot, which uh, doesn't make a whole lot of difference I guess. Um, sweltering heat could be a massive game breaker here. Um, Falladius won the toss and chose to kick with the kind of gold lizard men and Guinness receiving the blue lizard men. I'm a little bit surprised again that, that in a bash mirror someone chose to kick. I, I would always choose to receive with overtime, but there you go. Um, so we've got Guinness is the defending champion. 68% win rate. Lizards almost plays lizards exclusively in Champs Ladder. Qualifies from NATTS and is Canadian. Uh, Falladius is Finnish. He barely plays in Champs Ladder, only 66% win rate in like less than 20 games um, he did enter three qualifiers and won them all which is pretty crazy and he, the one that he chose to represent was the new Ogham League um, so yeah a bit, bit weird that Falladius you know pretty much must be only playing only only yeah pretty much only plays in scheduled leagues so you know a bit of an unknown quantity um, from pe for people outside of those leagues. Uh, Guinness, is, Guinness has played a few games, you know, and 68% is is all right with lizard men. Um, lizard men are are pretty much <laughs> the highest win rate team, you know, pretty much in all formats. They're they're up there as one of the highest win rate teams. It's a, it's a bit dodgy in Chance Ladder and stuff, because obviously at high TV they're a bit killed by claw, but at low TV they're monsters, absolute monsters. It's really surprising how few people went with the Lizards, though the starting with four skills did did make them a lot less appealing. I think if, if Tier 1 had had five skills, and Tier 2 had five and a double, I think there would have been a lot more diversity, a lot more. Um, but four skills really really was light for lizards and undead and dark elves really so so all those got a lot a lot more unappealing and humans like kind of got more appealing as a result of that so but yeah you know i think i think if lizards had scored a start of five i think there'd been a lot more lizards but you know and it's been it's been a great draw as well for Guinness to be honest. Uh, I mean, and for Ladius, particularly for Ladius, because he didn't even need to win his second game uh, with knee proxy disconnecting. But you know, for, particularly for Guinness, because he had, you know, he was only going to play either for Ladius or Ducky on knee proxy basically, and he managed to. Uh, the big one was Ducky, and now he can only play Wood Elves in the final, and Wood Elves being Lizard Men's worst matchup. And it's still not even that bad, I don't think. But that's their only bad one, really. And so he's done a he's done a pretty good job of <laughs> of being lucky enough to avoid the bad the the one bad matchup, really. But you know, it was a, it was a good choice. You know, he did he did the right thing picking lizard men. A bit surprising that other people didn't. He's locked into blitz with a crocs here, isn't he? I don't like the push there. I think maybe he's. If he'd got, mm, then he's like some like contact. I don't know. I think maybe he's just not following there. Might have been better or doing something differently. I didn't really like the dodge either against Tapu. Like you know, he's he's occupying a space here, isn't he? It's it's not terrible there. Um, I think dodging away from tackle not ideal. So anyway. Guinness got a got a KO there, didn't he? Which is, you know, that's it's pretty crucial. It's enough to give him an advantage, isn't it? Every, every Soros removal is is pretty big. Anyway, but especially in the mirror, when you don't even have a crazy strength advantage. Lizard mirrors, I think, are the, are the strangest of all mirrors because. Um, you know, normally half your team's, well, 
two thirds of your team is stronger than the opponent and a third is weaker and now this is weird because everyone's suddenly the same strength <laughs> and anyone can just cage die for a one dice or whenever they want it doesn't mean they should but they could I like this chain out to get rid of the crocs I think I would have been be taking the push just to chain out the crocs to be honest but he gets the two of the both down he could have uh, put the skink there and then blocked here, then blocked there. That might have been better. Right. One dice from him, gets the power. Dirty Dino. <laughs> that was a pretty lucky one dice power there, wasn't it? There's a push, but we've just made this a one guy, so. So he manages to clear the clear the skin to these, but yeah, it's a, it's a funny old game. Really funny game. So Guinness going straight in for the uh, tackle hit. This is pretty, oh yeah, I didn't mention what they'd got. Um, so Guinness had gone guard on his crocs to make his crocs absolutely pivotal. Um, while for ladies just went block on a more reliable but inferior really Saurus isn't he like you know that's that's the only edge they've both got is the strength 5 on the Crocs um, don't like this having to make a GFI I would have maybe I think I would have maybe moved the skink first and then maybe double GFI with the Saurus I know it's more risky but if he, if he fails this one He's just getting two dice with block, isn't he? Which is pretty bad. So the failure state would have been better if he'd made a double GM by one. But obviously this pays off quite well. Um, so now, let's pause it. Turn five, because of the riot. I think what Falladius has to do here is, Guinness has five players over here. So you could even blitz this one down and maybe block him free. And then you could just have loads of players over here and then wedging around here so that he can't reconnect um that's what I, w I would want i would want to basically base everybody basically base everybody um just because he's got a kind of a numbers advantage over here but do it round the back so that he can't stall and then have a three turn three turn touchdown with three rerolls is very doable isn't it um i think that was a Maybe he shouldn't have activated the crocs there when he's holding two players. But yeah, Fladius runs around and gets in front, which is okay. But he's, I think think he really needs to have guys. And this one's probably a bad, a bad one. I think I would have wanted him in here, but you know, it's not, it's not really bad, is it? But yeah, I think that's. He's literally let him reconnect here hasn't he he's he's boneheaded him so he can come up and then he's got all these can get around and get the team back together oh wow huge bonehead actually could have got the surf there if he'd got the push couldn't he but i'm sure he'll he'll take that as well Yeah, I feel like that. I mean, it, you know, I can't really call it a mistake. That, that's a lot to call it a mistake, but um, I would have rather jammed in between to, to stop that happening than, than getting the skink surfed and, and letting him reconnect. Power. It was a pretty high risk, wasn't it? If you call it a skull there. Very high risk because the crocs would have hit him and he would have had another Saurus free. So, pretty risky for, um, I guess, if he hadn't made the block, that happens anyway. So, oh yeah, I was saying if he skulled, if he, 
if he got the push. Yeah, so that was it was it was the right thing to go for the power, I guess, because he, he all it made him do was make a two dice block with block. Could have gone for the. Uh, he pushed him the wrong square here. This was a huge mistake. Uh, let's let's pause here. This was a huge mistake. I'm sure you don't. You only do this one dice block to push him to here, and then for this guy to go one. Well, move him out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI two dice smash with block. So this is, uh, without block, but still, I think that was that has to be a huge mistake from Faladius. I can't believe he would have done this one dice block for like no reason. It it had to be pushed to here here or here to get the uh, 2D on the ball so yeah I think that was big mistake by Faladius there maybe maybe he had some kind of idea but that to me just looks like some kind of different idea but that to me just looks wrong there's a chance for Skinners to just run away over here now if he wants but um he hasn't got that much support He's only got three players. And he can't get. Any, he could free up the uh, Crocs, but then can't really. So I can see why he doesn't push it over the other side. But I think it probably would have been safer than just a dodge for a one dice, <laughs> because that's what he's left, hasn't he? All he's got to do is cancel these assists, and it's a, just a simple dodge for a one dice on the ball, and it's on turn seven. So. Well, a little bit of bad dice there with a double skull. But not super relevant. So yeah, now for Falladius, I think. You know, just base base the skinks that are there. And then go for the go for this dive here. Because you know the dodge has the dodge has dodge. And then that's about 55, well it is 55% to knock over the skink. And if he knocks over the skink, that's probably a good drive. And now, now he does a weird move here. This is a really weird... I hate this move. Because he's doing a one dice block and he's doing a, a dodge with a skink anyway. Just so he can do a fancy chain push in. So he can block. But he's had to make a stunty dodge anyway to get there. So why not just not do that <laughs> and go straight for the dodge? I think that was a bit risk riskier than it had to be. You know, he has to get a one dice. If he doesn't knock over this skink this turn, he basically loses because you know it's it's just too easy to clear. You could just roll pushes on all these dice and clear it. So yeah, I think that was absolute too fancy. Like it looked cool when he when he went for the push to get the one dice, but he, he, it had taken him a one dice block without block and a dodge with a skink anyway. So he didn't really achieve a whole lot by doing that without being horrible too. You know, it's, maybe it was nerves or pressure or whatever. Um, you know, maybe he thought the failure state was better doing it that way, but as we can clearly see, it wasn't. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Now, this is actually good for Guinness getting three out from the heat, unless unless Falladia scores the one turn. This is good getting three out for the heat because it means it doesn't have to roll them for the second half. So, three, six. Eight. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, Guinness has eleven plus an apple, whereas Faladius has twelve and no apple. So Faladius's team is is better equipped to deal with heat, um, though not really now because he's going to have to make eleven rolls versus eight. So that was actually good failure by Guinness there, <laughs> an actual good a good failure of of heat. Um, but still, blitz from here. Push to there and to there. Two dodges. You can, probably, you can push him three forward. Yeah, that's how many he needs. Push him to here and then dodge out. So this is a pretty easy one turn. Um, however, Faladius. Oh, changing weather, so the heat no longer a factor. Faladius sets up for the whole method, which which means he needs an extra push. Um, you know, this the, the skin could have already been one square forward here. 
If I don't like that. It's taken two pushes to get in form instead of one. Though, and that's really not good. Now here he, he does. He has got a dodge here. So here he does the wrong thing, doesn't he? Because... Oh, does he? No, he's got to block and then push him to there and then block and then push him to there and if he gets two pushes he's in two tackle zones. So yeah, he's right to go for the... Uh, getting the ball now. And he fails the pick up. So he, it was right to go for the, the handoff there when he's in one tackle zone. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was the right thing to do. It was going to be really hard, though, to be fair. The, the deep kick um, saved it. Saved it, really. That was, it was going to be always going to be really hard with the deep kick. So now Palladis is receiving. No Kaz for either side. No KOs or anything, so... You know, just a tactical, positional battle. You know, and, and Lizards are good on defence. So this is in no way guaranteed to get to overtime at the moment. I like the Crocs here to stop follows. a blitz right now but I mean he does want to knock down all the Saurus because he can just shuffle them down the line and get the extra blocks P Diddy oh man Guinness with the offset LOS <laughs> I mean that makes sense obviously, don't get hit by a mighty blow, don't let him chain blocks. Yeah, get the get the strength five in there, why not? Well, because he might get knocked over, but I mean because that's pretty easy to crack, isn't it? Easy, but it need it needs a Crocs, a Crocs blitz. But a Crocs blitz is uh, makes everything good here. I would go for the Crocs blitz personally. Hopefully, Edius doesn't. But the Crocs blitz would have uh, would have saved would have saved the uh, would have saved the day. Maybe he's just not gonna not not activate him, seeing as he's he's in a good spot there, really, for screening screening the ball. Rebel on the pickup, interesting. Ball wasn't really under threat there, was it? Ah, oh, he's moving the Crocs anyway. <laughs> Ignore that. So he's moving it to where he would have could have blitzed from. So hmm. I'm not sure about that turn by Palladius, but never mind. That's just. <laughs> Just my opinion, isn't it? Doesn't mean anything. No big bonehead. They haven't boneheaded much these two teams, but when they have, it's been it's been pretty annoying for them. I think. <laughs> Yeah, Guinness just happy to play passively here, and I guess he actually will go for a, sk a skink cage dive if if he has to later on. Get the 
block it first, like that. Squeeze him against the sideline. Not so sure on the follow, but fair enough. So yeah, Guinness just goes for clearing his guy. Bit risky with the uh, the skink on the sideline there. I guess as long as he doesn't uh, have his arm broken, he's all right. But would have been a little bit scared of a cage a, a skink. Stunty dodging for a surf there. If he'd been cast, I guess if he if he'd been removed, he would have had bigger fish to fry than a, than a skin. But still, This actually basing up a couple of skinks, so it's not just a not just a face off. I'm not so sure about the ball position, but never mind. Also, not so good having the guard there because it's pretty obvious who who Guinness is going to blitz now, which you don't really want. You can't guy getting punched here. <laughs> Skins are just going to knock over these two guys. Well, yeah, Skins are going to knock over this one, and then the other one can assist knocking him over. So, oh wow, he just did a one dice. Wow, I don't like that. I would have got the guard in. Maybe he thought he'd be too weak over there if he did. I didn't want to get hit by the other crocs. But I'm pretty shocked he didn't put the guard in there. Also could have just done this two dice block with block first. With the assist from the skink. So yeah, a bit of a bit of a uh, bit of a mistake by Guinness there maybe. Maybe he maybe it wasn't a mistake, maybe he didn't want those crocs in for whatever reason. Three dice. I mean, that's one to say one thing for uh, you know for, for these coaches. They've both uh, they've both tried to get three dice and skins when they can. Obviously, not so important for Guinness because he's got the tackler, which was a, a really good choice to be fair. And that's the one thing that lists don't normally get in in NAF style is is they just don't have a tackler. One of the reasons why they struggle against Woody's a bit. The other is the other is having the ball on a on a defenseless strength two guy is pretty bad, but um, no foul. he did like a foul. I remember, I remember for for lady is fouling before. It's uh, it's fair enough when he's got the uh, when he's got the reserve rather than a uh, apo. It makes fouling a bit better. I'm not sure about that foul, but. He got the removal, but of course Guinness appelled it. Because if Guinness can stop him here or make him score early, he's got a good chance to win, hasn't he? With not losing anyone else before now. So I think that's a good apple. It's also why apples are better than reserves, isn't it? Because this reserve, dead TV this game so far, unless it goes to overtime. You know, so it, it has allowed him to foul. But that's the key thing, isn't it? Apples can just keep keep numbers on the pitch. Whereas, I don't know, I, I wish there was some way for like reserves to enter the field. It feels like they're, they're very rarely worth their TV. They're a bit of a security blanket in a way, but still. But you know, this is solid. This is solid, as always, by Guinness. He's always... 
he always plays solidly, solid positional blood ball. Uh, you know, it doesn't get too crazy. It doesn't have to because he's always lizard man. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, Felidia should be able to should be able to do stuff, shouldn't he? Surely. I think that's his first armor break. <laughs> Apart from that KO, that's about the first time he's broken AV, but he's got a Kaz, so that'll help him if it goes to overtime. Switching sides a bit, but that tackler looks scary, doesn't it? Can't get forward because of this, the protected tackler, so that's... That's good. He's gonna dodge away from the crocs. Just, just smack him. Just smack him in the teeth. There you go. Uphill. Zero fucks given by Philadius there. <laughs> Maybe it would have been better to get punched by him though, because now Guinness can move his crocs to somewhere better, can't he? And also, Philadius' guard is a little bit. Um, Stranded. A bit risky on a push there, yeah, given the given the block hit on a skink from a push. That was a bit bit dodgy. Especially as he moved the crocs in anyway. So he gets rid of the tackler, and I guess we're going to see a push forward now. Oh, huge bonehead! Now he's even in the way. get a cage for a skink before doing that, shouldn't he? Maybe he was going to blitz or something afterwards. So he gets a cage made. But that, that, uh, that bonehead is pretty massive. It's, yeah, it's interesting. Interesting, isn't it? Because if if Guinness can for force the early score here, he's got half a chance. Three dice on a skink. Gets a cars. No pain. <laughs> well, he had some pain there. Nothing to do but dodge. Big one dice pal. I mean, he, Philadius one dice pal the Crocs, but then Guinness one D powered him straight back. Huge, huge Crocs move that, wasn't it? Absolutely massive. This is now looking pretty terrible for um, <laughs> for Philadius. Wow. Removal was actually huge because otherwise he could have at least screened like sideline screened a bit. It could have been like a one dice blitz run down and had like a bit of a sideline screen or something. But this is uh right, two dice blitz even. So you still can actually, you can still make it work a little bit. He's got he's got something to work with here. Reeves makes the touchdown. Wow. I think he had three players free there, and then he could have gone for a Crocsaurus dodge as well. I think maybe some kind of sideline cage might have been better there. 
but he takes the, he bets on his defense that he can stop Guinness scoring in two turns, which I don't think at this level I don't think it's a good idea to bank on scoring any you know stopping anybody scoring in two if they've got fast players like Amazons and uh, dwarves aren't so scary orcs those kind of teams if you leave them a two turn it's not so bad but if you're leaving humans or lizard men or undead with a real undead team of four ghouls um, or woodies or dark elves you know if you leave them two turns they're probably going to score on you um, this is very risky taking that score then but then you know obviously the store was risky as well so it was you've got to say it was it was some combination of of good defending by Guinness and bad attacking from Falladius, wasn't it? You know, it was, Falladius could no doubt look at this and think there was lots of things he could have done differently. Um, you know, and, and whether they're better or not does depend on whether they work, doesn't it? So, but that's uh, that's certainly something to um, really don't want to be given Guinness two turns here. Nice kick from him as well, he can just do a handoff, pick up handoff straight away, can't he? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, GFI. And being down men meant that Guinness could break through as well. So that foul has is, is maybe really cost him here. Huge pick up and huge handoff here. All these dice rolls were just huge because if he fills any, he hasn't really got a scoring threat, has he? So great, great rolling by Guinness there, but oh, makes that one now. He hasn't got a reroll for this one. I think he's still got to make the GFI though. So now the only option open to Falladius is dodging from here, one dice, J much like the end of the first half, dodge in for a one dicer or you lose basically. Can move some people around to base things up a bit. Makes an irrelevant two dice block. Wow. Now you can't do that. You just. You just can't do that, can you? Uh, that's that's absolutely nonsensical. Yes, you roll the double skull, you know, but you're adding a one in thirty six failure to everything else, you know. At least at least move him in and make it a three dice if you want to block that. But he's literally got to dodge in and one dice the ball, or he loses. You can't make any dice rolls. You have to have a reroll available for that, in my opinion. <laughs> I think that was a definitely a, a big mistake from Falladius there. And yes, it was bad dice. You know, yes, it was unlucky to roll that one in thirty-six. But there's literally one guy who can score realistically. That you know that you can rule out the source of scoring. There's one guy who can score. You're going to dodge in and one dice him. You have to take him down. You have to, so that means you have to have the reroll available. Really unbelievable play there from Falladius. I don't know why he didn't. Oh, because he wanted to block with block. Yeah, okay. But he doesn't have guard here, so we can't block him again. They could have two dice block. That was, that was bad play by Guinness there. <laughs> he could have just done a two dice block for a push, would have been better than a GFI, wouldn't it? Um, but. There you go, he goes for a 1 in 36 risk instead of a 1 in 81 risk, and it pays off. So, you know, and, and you know, I, I don't blame people for doing doing things like that wrongly, because, you know, there's, there is there is pressure and nerves and everything, isn't there? And he just went for the GFI, fair enough. And, uh, you know, six AV breaks each, hardly, hardly any AV breaks, hardly any removals. 39 blocks apiece, about a pretty even match. I think actually uh, Guinness 30, 25, 26. So he, he got worse dice. 18, 31, 30. Definitely got worse dice there overall. 
Um, and you know, but it was basically a tactical encounter that Guinness won. So full credit to him. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.